today's trapping tip, we're going to build the world's greatest snare support. Stay tuned. Hey, how's everybody doing? Today, we're, our trapping tip is going to be how to make the world's greatest snare support system. So this system has a anchor, a support, and I well I guess that's it. So anyways, you know how everybody has their own opinion on what's the greatest and this is just my opinion works the best for me. I don't trap on foot very often uh, anymore and so I don't need I'm, I'm not too concerned about weight. So it, even if I got to carry half a dozen of these with me a couple hundred yards, it's no big deal. So I'm going to show you how to build these. Today's trapping tip is brought to you by number four rebar. Uh, they're a proud sponsor of Out West Adventures and Nordic Forge. Yeah, yeah, these guys are uh, another proud sponsor. So let's get right into this video. All right, today what we're going to start with is I've got a number four uh, rebar here. It's 20 inches long. That's a, a pretty good size. You can go 18 to 24, whatever you feel like. If you're using them for beavers, you could you could definitely go with 24 inches. Usually it's pretty muddy where they're at, or even to 30. So uh, number four, just so everybody knows, is four eighths. So the numbers of rebar go from in, in eight. So two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, that kind of thing. Eight eighths is one inch. So half inch. The other thing I got is a five eighths coarse nut you guys have seen this before and then we've got uh what eighth inch drill bits so i've got one of these drill bits chucked up in my drill already sitting right here i'm gonna go down just about an inch and a half from the end and i'm gonna punch this hole i got my handy dandy vise here uh, nothing out out west adventures is too over the top fancy. So I got that uh, eighth inch hole. I got my number nine gauge wire. I'm going to pull out a jag of it, which is about 24 inches today. Pull me out nine, 24 inches, number nine. Chunk it there. Take my nut. Let me reposition you up here. See my... There we go. So I'm going to take my 5 8 nut, number 4 rebar. Get that guy threaded on there if you have to. And go to clubbing. Three good hits. Uh, so I know that not everybody will do this. Uh, some guys don't trust this. And I've never had one come apart. To each their own. Don't Just go ahead and weld it. It's no big deal. My welder's sitting right over there, and I'm not a big time welder. And I, I'm capable. I just don't really care to. So... This is 10 times faster. What I'm making, I got about 40 of them here I'm going to make. Uh, this is a real quick way to do it. So then, I got my 8th inch hole. I got my washer. I got my number 9 wire. So that's it. That's the whole thing. You drive that in the ground. Secure your snare to this. Use this for your support wire. That's it. It's just super easy. So if you want shorter, just give it another couple twists. You want longer, unwrap it. And uh, when you lose these, so the benefit of doing it this way with a hole drilled in it and not welding it is a lot of times those coyotes will just break these and uh, you're out of stake. You got to bring it back to the shop, drill a new hole, re-weld the, you know, or re-weld it however you do it. If you're out in the field, just Poke your wire in that hole, wrap it around, and away you go. You're, you're, you're back in business right away. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's trapping tip. Uh, usually try to do them once a week for 
for the guys that don't know, or gals that don't know even. And uh, they're usually geared for the novice or the beginner, uh, just kind of something to help people out. So I want to give you a quick tour here. Got some of my coyotes put up. We're right smack dab in the middle of the season. And I decided to not go out today. It's supposed to snow inches. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let them sit for today. So anyways, check out these coyotes. You got to excuse the mess in my fur shed here. Uh, so each one of these racks is 10 coyotes. We got one, two, three, four, five, fifty of them there. There's three hanging up there. We got some spotted fur. Just a real quick rundown. Badger. There's another nice bobcat. Let's see if I can spin them around and you guys can see them. Not a bad belly. Not not the best. Not the worst. And then we got these. Uh, Four that we caught the other day yeah a couple more coyotes they're almost ready so thanks for watching guys forgot I got these right here this is the ugliest coyote I've ever seen in my life I should have never skinned him I haven't brushed him out yet you can see the nice coyote on the right Woo. so Got a couple good videos coming out on uh, one on bobcat trapping, one on the next one's coyote trapping. We're up to 65 as of last night. So uh, on the road to 100 or more. Thanks for watching.